All right, a little bit on the chilly side on this Friday. Let's see how the weekend is shaping up here. Maybe a little peek at what's going on in Buffalo, Kristen. Uh, yeah, it looks like it should be pretty good for the Steelers game on Sunday. Uh, we'll get to that in just a minute. Right now, we had just a little bit of drizzle or a couple of showers around for folks for Friday night football, and this drizzle just won't go away. Areas up into Butler, Northern Beaver, Mercer, Lawrence counties. As we head through the next couple of hours, these winds should finally start to subside. Pretty breezy behind this cold front, and that's kicking up that lake effect rain or the lake effect drizzle. We also have some very chilly air in place behind this front, and when skies clear tomorrow night and the temperatures drop and the winds subside, we have the chance for frost and freeze. We already have a freeze watch in effect for Garrett County, Maryland, Eastern Tucker County in northern West Virginia. We could see frost advisories posted for our region tomorrow. We'll keep you posted on our KDK weather app. You can download that, load that for free and get notifications sent to your phone. But know that if you have anything outside, flowers or plants, anything in the garden, it's ending the growing season. We're getting pretty close to that time, and it may be tomorrow night when we see the first frost. You see a little bit of this lake effect activity coming down off of the Great Lakes. Ours is some drizzle, but up in through the UP of Michigan, we have seen a couple of snowflakes in places like Marquette just for a few minutes. And then they went away, so hopefully it'll be another couple of weeks until we start to get that, but it's coming up on time that we start to see that form as well. It's chilly tonight, 46 degrees with a 10 mile per hour wind out of the west northwest and the temperatures are already down in the upper 30s to lower 40s to the north of I 80 Clarion's at 39. Franklin, you're at 43, Butler down to 44. Somerset is already down to a chilly 41 degrees. Temperature has dropped a good 10 to 15 degrees from this time last night. And as we head through tomorrow night, we'll drop another couple of degrees. So tomorrow morning, some areas to the north and especially in the higher elevations will be down in those mid to upper 30s. Then we could see potential frost Sunday morning as we're down in those mid to upper 30s and we even get down toward the freezing point in the laurels and ridges. Overnight lows the next couple of nights to start the week and daytime highs recover and this next week is actually going to be pretty comfortable and very seasonable for mid October future cast overnight clouds begin to clear out. So expect partial sunshine tomorrow in the morning, some nice sunshine in the afternoon, and then it'll be frosty and crisp to say the least on Sunday morning, but lots of sunshine on the way for Sunday afternoon. Now notice those clouds up to the north. If you're headed north up I 79 to Buffalo for the Steelers game, they're expecting a couple showers in the morning, just clouds by one o'clock kickoff, but it'll be pretty comfortable. Temperatures close to the upper 50s by then. Here in Pittsburgh, 54 tomorrow, 60 Sunday. Sunshine both days, but look at this. We're up to 69 Tuesday, 71 Wednesday, and Ken, the only chance of showers all week on Thursday.